Hi guys, Ross here, and today we're going to be learning how to make these indents using the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. This is a great technique for giving your typography character and it's quite a popular and simple effect. So let's jump straight into the video and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so I've imported a letter from a piece of logo type that I had recently worked on and I've just brought it into a new blank document. Um, for the sake of the video today, I will be just working on this one letter, but of course in your case you can use it throughout your whole piece of logo type. Um, Okay, so what we're going to want to do is select your logo type. See, as you can see on mine, the F has loads of different layers, and this is not what we want. We want to put it all into one layer, so we're going to select it all, come over to the Pathfinder, and press Unite. It's the one on the far left. And if you don't have the Pathfinder on your screen, if you just go up to Window, and then press Pathfinder, and it will pop up somewhere. So now we have our letter in one layer and we can start putting the indents in. So if we just zoom in on a place we want, make sure you click off the layer, otherwise when you use the pen tool it's going to start trying to get rid of anchor points. So as you can see it's locking onto our anchor point. So if we just start there, click and drag and try and match it up with the curve of the line. So there we go. And then just click where you want the, um, the indent to end. So I have it about halfway and then come down to the path below it and again it would lock onto the path click and drag so that it should lock so that um, it's following the curve of the line so as we can see it's locked here let go and then just connect the pieces together so now then if we click off that highlight our logo type and the new path we've created go to the pathfinder and press minus front and there we go, you can see it's created an indent now. So you can always just adjust this if it doesn't look right, so I can just bring it in a little bit like that. Just make the indent smaller or bigger depending on how you like it. So if we just try this again, so I think I'm gonna do it on this one below as well. So again, if we get the pen tool, make sure our logo type isn't selected because let me show you what would happen. So the logo type selected now, and if we use the pen tool, it's going to get rid of the anchor points that are already existing, so we don't want that. So if we just Command Z or Control Z on a PC, click off the uh, logo, get the pen tool, it will lock onto the anchor, it will even come up saying anchor, it should do anyway. Click and drag so that it looks like it's matching the curve. Click where you want the indent to end, click the path below it, click and drag upwards so that it snaps to the, um, the path. And again, close it up, click off it, press V for the um, selection tool, or it's just at the top of the toolbar on the left. Select the logo type on the indent you've made, and then again, press minus front on the pathfinder. That is one in from the left, by the way. And there you go, it's as simple as that. So, thank you for watching, guys, and I hope you found the tutorial helpful and if you have any suggestions for future videos I can do, just put them in the comment section down below. And yeah, thank you again guys, see you next time.